hello everybody and welcome back to my channel um here's a quick update for 20 to 23 weeks i'm in my 23rd week now and yes i know it's been a very long time but i've just been very busy a lot has been going on so week 20 i will put in a clip where i came to paula's house my cousin paula and yeah so week 20 i'm finally halfway and my gums are swollen like i have braces and my gums are so swollen it's disgusting it's like it's like they're running away from my my mouth <laughs> paula's in the kitchen laughing today's actually new year's eve so we're planning we're gonna cook up a storm and eat and be merry just like it's christmas again the Christmas tree still up you know how we do we don't take down the Christmas tree until next year Jamaican style <laughs> if we had a choice we'd have that up all year <laughs> just slide it in a corner and bring it back when December comes back jeez but anyways um, so yes I'm halfway my gums are swollen the baby's the size of a melon and I started to feel kicks at week 18 so a few weeks ago five weeks ago I started to feel kicks I was on the couch and that's when I felt my first movement and it wasn't like it was just taking its time to kick it's just one day I felt a bunch of kicks and since then it just continues um, and then I found out the gender if you guys haven't seen my gender reveal video go take a look should I reveal the gender or should they go watch my gender reveal? Okay, it's a boy. But go watch the video anyways. It's very cute with the help of my friends. Very, very cute video. I So obviously now if you're in week 20, you wouldn't be having morning sickness. And I've never had any morning sickness. So I haven't experienced any at all. At all. Like nothing. Nada. I would have morning sickness when I'm not pregnant <laughs> like I haven't had any but the bags under my eyes are real like they're still real they've always been real and I don't think they're ever gonna go away ever if I find a remedy I will definitely post a video on that because I was born like this and it sucks but anyways week Here's the clip from week 20. You guys, I had a dream last night that Paula checked the baby's um, heartbeat with the stethoscope. And then now we're making the dream come true. Real okay! My fibroid is getting bigger. It's supposed to. You're pregnant. It's to huge. And it, it's pointy. Well, it looks huge to me, but he said it's small. small. It's just because of the... I have two. A really tiny one, like over here. But he said it's right here? it's right here. He said Thank it's you. nowhere. No, only when it gets hard and pointy. It's weird. Throughout the day, it's gonna do it, and then I'm gonna let you feel it. I swear <laughs> it moves around though. It's so what, weird. Yeah. Can it move? I swear it moves from here to here. I can't touch it. I wonder if the cold. baby pushes it or something. What? I don't know. My fibroid. It's gonna grow but with it got the baby. it grows with the baby, yo. Mm -hmm. It's an idiot thing. <laughs> can she get them removed? Yeah, but she can get it removed if she has a C section. <clears throat> Sucks. Hope you don't. I've seen one. It's so Let's just cool. hope you don't. Yo, then in the dream, Paula took the stethoscope and was like, listen. And then she kept pressing the, 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 the ear something in my ears. And I'm like, ow, the Paula, you're hurting enough. me. It's supposed to be. She's like, it's, I'm like, it's hurting me. Let's see if it actually works. I know. Or you if they gave look. me a dummy stethoscope. Here's Dr. Paula. Harder. Press harder. Uh-huh. Oh, I hear gurgles. Gurgles? I wonder if you'll hear a kick. He's usually on this side. What? Delete! We just, uh, the sex. Oh, it's okay, I'll edit it. Oh, I can edit it. Oh. It's not like it's vlogging, like going, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll. Just you me. frightened me, yo. Oh. Was this a Moya? You're carrying an alien baby. 
put it down here. He usually puts it down here. I don't want to scratch your tummy. Put your pants down because any. Yo, bye bye. Yo, Vikoji. person to read to the baby. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? By Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. I think he's sleeping though. Yeah, but so I can't up. hear you. You guys keep sleeping. sex. Oh. oh. No. I think <clears throat> it's right. asleep. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring I'm by me. Just Noala. Be my bed, be Noala. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you don't understand how I want to shake you right now. Are you pointy again? Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Stupid fibroid. You can see it through your shirt. Yeah, yo. You should see in the morning. All along, I thought it was the baby's like head. <laughs> All along, I thought it was the baby's head. I'll be like, Fico, feel the head of the baby. Oh my gosh. So little at this point. I don't know. I thought, <laughs> what else could it have been? I was like, it's either his bum. I'd be like, he a cone head baby. <laughs> I'm like, it's either his bum or his head, and it's a damn fibroid. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's roll. Week 21. Um, the baby gets 14 hours of sleep every single day, and it's the size of a large banana. That's long. <laughs> like a large banana. That's pretty long. I have no stretch marks and I don't plan on it because I'm rubbing that cocoa butter for stretch marks by Palmer's. No, this is not um, sponsored. But if Palmer's wants to supply me with some cocoa butter, by all means. <laughs> but yeah, that lotion is the ish. I recommend it to all you pregnant ladies out there. Um, but my belly button is starting to pop out and I have... Um, yeah yo one thing my lips it's winter time now and we were hit with the snowstorm um three days ago where i nearly blew away you know when i left her i almost blew away <laughs> walking from the lobby to the car that's literally 10 steps i almost blew away the snowstorm was serious out there <laughs> My lips are getting so dry. Like extremely dry, no matter what I do. I've tried lip scrubs, I've made my own. I've tried some, no matter what, my lips are dry. Bliss sex can't even help. And I yawn every five seconds. <laughs> even when I'm not tired, maybe it's hunger yawns. Do you guys get hunger yawns? I do. Me? Nah. Well, not you guys, my viewers. But do you? <laughs> Me? Well, I get hunger I yawns. Hungry. My potato salad. <laughs> so, week 22 is Christmas week. Here's a clip from week 21. And you're going to see a clip from my best friend, my longtime friend, Schnell. Big up yourself, Chanel Good Girl. Oh, I was gonna say Kyoko. her last name. Kyoko. I can't reveal that. Kyoko Nagati, Coco, Chanel, Chandel. Chandel. Yeah, yo, long, long story, Chandel. Church story, long story. <laughs> I'm Moyel and she Chandel. No, I'm Marsha and she Chandel. Hear me about Moyel. I don't know. We have so many nicknames. I'm getting confused. But she has a clip in here with um, memories, like memories. Anyways, here's the clip. Hey, YouTubers! My name is Chanel. I'm one of Moya's best friends from 
elementary school. I just wanted to say how happy I am that Moy is having my first godchild. Yes, she's having a boy. I'm really happy. I'm really. So I just wanted to say I'm so happy that I'm finally gonna be a godmother. Obviously, this is my godchild. Like nobody else. Well, I don't know who else, but like it's my god godson. And yes, we are having a boy. Moya, Vico, and I are having a boy because this is my son at heart. But anyways, I love you, Moya. I love you, Vico. Um, I can't wait till he gets here, Mr. Papi Chulo. We're gonna go all over the world together, and I'm gonna spoil him rotten. But anyways, mwah, I can't wait to meet you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So Moya, like, remember when we would like be on winter vacation? Cause since kids are like out. Oh my gosh, let me hold this properly. We would be on winter vacation and we would go to each other's houses like i'll come to your house and you had the playstation one and you would play we would play pa i can't even speak we we would play crash bandicoot and always say aburka so aburka and then remember after that like we'll get bored of that and then go, come down to my house and play mario party and then play hot rope jump and get high off of hot rope jump yeah i remember like we'd watch mad tv at night like our winter vacations were full of so much fun but anyways week 22 is christmas week um and the baby weighs one pound that's so like the twins are always arguing Jeez, every video they're in, they argue. Anyways, the baby weighs one pound, and on Christmas, my boyfriend and I open gifts for Boy Boy. We His nickname is Boy Boy. Noella's feeding me potato salad to taste right now. How's it taste? Tastes good, but anything tastes good to me. <laughs> I can't tell. So I'll tell you it tastes good and then you, you'll you think it tastes nasty. Is that going to make noise? Yeah, I'm almost done. So we got our first gifts for Boy Boy. And I almost cried. And one of them was really cute. It was like a basketball outfit with the basketball socks. <laughs> It was so cute! <laughs> anyway, sorry guys, I get in my moment. Okay, the kicks are getting more noticeable. Of course, like, Boy Boy kicks me a lot. I don't think he ever sleeps. Especially after I eat, Boy Boy just goes ham. Or after I drink something, just kicking all over. Today I got kicked in my rib cage, I think. I had a sharp pain in my rib cage on the left hand side. And I don't know, I'm having. Maybe I'm just miserable. I don't know if I would feel this way if I wasn't pregnant or not. I have. Okay. I have neck pain. Rib cage pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headache, tailbone. Okay, so I researched tailbone pain for pregnancy and they said the baby is in your back and is putting pressure on your tailbone. So I have to kind of sit forward to relieve that pain. And I did that today and it actually helped. And Noella gave me a wicked massage yesterday day before yesterday and that really helped too that helped a lot like after you gave me the massage my neck wasn't really hurting that bad anymore so all you pregnant ladies out there try to get massages as much as you can take advantage of your partner if you need to get juice if you're thirsty ask him to get it for you if you're craving something don't hesitate Please, can you get, don't even say please, say I'm craving this. Now, please, don't itch. Just take advantage. Even if you go, oh, my back, I'm thirsty. 
<laughs> Best <laughs> believe. Don't laugh at my. Oh, I forgot I brought my tripod. I'm here using pineapple cans to hold up the camera. <laughs> I got a nice tripod for Christmas. Shout out V, thank you, thank you. I wonder if anyone understands what I'm saying. Because I talk crazy, you guys realize? Why did you have to put the potato salad right in front of me? It looks good. It looks so good, you guys. You'll see in my vlog. Um, sorry, I was at 22 weeks. The orthodontist said my gums are swollen due to pregnancy so as you can see I have braces and my gums are extremely swollen especially on the top and sometimes they bleed as well and I notice they said it's because the baby is taking all the calcium away from the mother so baby comes first so I need to take in more calcium but I've been taking a lot of calcium a lot like over the, the required amount. I drink milk about three times a day. I have oatmeal every morning. I have milk in that. When I come home, I drink a glass of milk. And then before I go to bed, I put milk in my smoothies. Um, so what's really cool is that the baby can see light, can tell light from darkness. So if you shine your flashlight on your stomach, the baby can sense light and sense movement and is now touching its, its like it's playing with the umbilical cord, doing flips and everything. So that's cool. Hello everybody. So I haven't vlogged in a very long time, but I'm going to today. I am in time maternity. I feel like I'm by myself because nobody even said hello or would you like any help or anything like that. So I'm kind of struggling here. Um, yeah, I'm looking for maternity pants for work, dress pants, because today, today was crazy. I had to like, I tried buttoning my pants and I couldn't, I had to like flap it under and it was just a hot mess. And unfortunately, since nobody asked me if I wanted any help to see if there's any other sizes, there's only one size of a dress pants that actually looks wearable but they're extra extra small and I think I'm pushing it for that size hopefully they fit so I'm gonna try these on right now and let you know well these aren't too bad look this part fits nice but this part here no sir <laughs> My bum looks so squished in. Ew. Why does it look like... <laughs> Maternity pants are not it. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna make my own. This is weird. My bum is so squished in. It feels uncom- it feels weird. Like... I feel like I'm knock knee. See, the, the bottom is fine. Maybe I can just work with them. I don't know what to do. Because nobody's helping. In the store. Yeah, Dixie Mall. Thanks for helping. Week 23. The baby's the size of a papaya, which is 20 centimeters in length. That's like a ruler. A ruler is what, 20 centimeters? A normal sized ruler. And the baby's growth is now doubling. Starting at week 23, the growth of the baby is gonna start doubling. And I honestly, since Monday, today is Friday. Since Monday, I've really seen that every night my stomach is doubling a lot. Linea nigra is darkening. That's the line in the center of your stomach. Mine starts. Mine has actually expanded above my belly button going up, but it's lighter than the one in the the bottom of my belly button. I'll show you guys after. But from my belly button downwards, it's darker. And I would figure so because it's always been there. I've always had that line. It's just really dark and noticeable now. Um, 
and my belly button has popped more I think it popped out yesterday when I was at work I went to the bathroom and I had to go so badly oh my goodness I had to hold my back and walk to the bathroom wearing my belly button has popped and I'm still wearing my belly button ring and what I've done is taken out the bottom ball because it was really irritating my belly button so there's no ball at the bottom but there's a ball at the top and the reason why I'm doing that is because I can't find a maternity ring anywhere everywhere I go they say they're sold out what is everybody pregnant like restock them please I bet you I'm gonna find it at the end of the pregnancy which is ugh. if you guys can find one please give it to me and my stomach is not itchy because I'm telling you that cocoa butter works and I'm getting nosebleeds every single morning I have nosebleeds I just wake up to look forward to these nosebleeds which is annoying but anyways that concludes my 20 to 23 week update I will check in with you guys later I have an appointment I have an appointment this week so that will be another video and the what to expect app really helps there's like a chat room where you post your questions to other females who are in the exact same pregnancy range as you same time frame same due date so we're in the April group and then you just post your questions in there everybody answers if you want to or you can read it it's really cool and no what to expect is not sponsoring this video either no one sponsors me I only have 117 subscribers which is cool I love each and every one of you and it's growing every day you have to start from the bottom you know but just don't think that any of this is sponsored I just love doing this for you guys anyways I'm out about to go cook because today is New Year's Eve so you guys look out for that vlog love you oh I have to do a belly shot getting ahead of myself so these are my work pants which is below my belly and you see the line here is darker and the line here is lighter my belly button is popping out and I've taken out the bottom ball of my belly button ring so this is my stomach at 23 weeks <laughs> So that concludes today's pregnancy update of 20 to 23 weeks and I'll check in with you guys later probably in a few days when I have my appointment anyways. Thanks for watching. Bye.